I came to support the Ogawa and Lakota relatives today. What's your reaction to um, the president saying the governor really didn't take the time to talk with him, to really listen to what he had to say? How do you feel about that? I'm very disheartened. I'm very saddened. I'm from South Sioux City. I'm a member of the Winnebago tribe. I'm a Nebraska citizen. I am ashamed of my governor today and the way that he treated the leader of the Ogawa of Lakota people, the sovereign nation. He should know better. And I just want to take an opportunity as a Nebraskan to apologize to the president of the Ogawa Sioux tribe for the way he was treated. We're not all like that in Nebraska, natives and non-natives. Very much disappointed. And you, you agree there is a problem between White Clay and Pine Ridge, correct? Oh, absolutely. I've been working on this matter for 14 years. And uh, many who come here today have been working on this issue for a long time. They're not tired. Perhaps it'll be another 14 years, but we're not going away. And the governor should understand that. This is an issue that we are carrying, uh, trying to give voice to people who have no voice. And that's what we're trying to do here. And I'm very disappointed the way that uh, the Oglala Sioux uh, leader was treated today by the governor and also by the Liquor Control Commission. We came to the Liquor Control Commission today to voice concerns and nobody would talk to us. The director wasn't there, nobody else would talk. They said they didn't have the authority to do that. And I just wonder if precedent's been set or whether uh, this is a nice way that you know, incident that they're just not going to talk to the Oglala Lakota people. But I'm just going to call them out. I think the Liquor Control Commission are cowards. I think they've had the ability to deal with this issue in the public trust as those who work in the public trust for Nebraska voters and Nebraska citizens. They've not dealt with the issue. They refuse to deal with it. Can't even acknowledge 30 people who come to see them because the leader's not here. Uh, Liquor Control Commission of Cowards. And lastly, I just want to tell you, and I said this earlier today, the state of Nebraska uh, has blood on its hands. The governor has blood on his hands. We see this every day with the unsolved murders, the killings, the rape, uh, the injustices, the lawlessness that continues at White Clay and Pine Ridge. The governor knows about it. Nebraska officials know about it. We do nothing. And I, even as a Winnebago, even as a Native American, I too have blood on my hands because we've not done what we can do to stop the devastation there. We need to do that. What do you think it's going to take to stop that? I sadly, and I'll say this again, I've said it many times, white clay is a tinder box. White clay is like a time bomb waiting to go off. I've been saying that for several years to this governor, false on deaf ears. There's going to be a time people are tired, people are frustrated, the Olala Lakota relatives are angry. They're going to rise up, and when they do, there's nothing that the president can tell them, that Frank Lemire can tell them, that the governor can tell them that's going to stop them. They're angry. It's a tinderbox. Why does nobody understand that? Nebraska citizens need to speak up. We need to stop the devastation, the carnage there, stop the lawlessness there. If we do that, other things take care of themselves. I applaud uh, President Brewer for doing what he can. I applaud him for subjecting himself to this. I'm embarrassed as a Nebraska native, I'm embarrassed as a Nebraskan that we treat people like that. Good God, what have we come to? Is there anything else that I haven't